जय हिंद टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नोडल एनालिसिस हाउ वी एनालाइज द नेटवर्क इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स नेटवर्क विद द हेल्प ऑफ नोडल एनालिसिस तो हियर इट इज इन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट एनालिसिस नोडल एनालिसिस नोड वोल्टेज एनालिसिस आर द यू कैन से इट ब्रांच करेंट मेथड बेसिकली इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द के generally we are applying kvl to uh, get the current from a circuit but here we apply kcl we are using kcl means we have to find out the node voltage with the help of kcl is that clear kcl means kirch of current law so here it is the we have to first we have to determine the voltage between nodes nodes generally the points where elements are branch connect in any electrical circuit okay so it is node analysis is possible when all the circuit elements branch constitute relations and have an admittance re representation when the network in a proper connections here it is kcl that is used to develop the method that we are going to discuss what what are the steps we are going to follow for this uh, nodal analysis so here are the list first note all the connected wire segments in the circuit these are the nodes of the analysis means we can say that if we are having a network like here it is voltage here it is resistance let it r1 let it r2 and here it is another resistance r3 and here it is another voltage source let it be v here it is r4 so the points where the branch connects these are the node points these are the node of the network these are the nodes of the network where the branches are connected so in this uh, analysis we have to select one node as a ground reference and the choice does not affect the result whatever you choose for the reference node that does not affect the result of the analysis means it is just a matter of convention choosing the node with most connections can simplify the analysis here it means we have to choose that node as a reference node which have maximum number of branches connected together and then here we have to assign a variable for each node whose voltage is unknown so first step we have to consider a reference node that is that have a maximum connected branches and then after we have to assign a voltage to unknown nodes unknown which voltage is unknown if voltage is already known then it is not necessary to assign a variable if we are having the known voltage then we don't need to assign a variable for that particular node and for each unknown voltage form an equation based on the kirch of current law we have to derive an equation that is based on the kirch of current law means kcl okay basically what is kcl at any junction or node the leaving current in sorry incoming current equal to outgoing current means whatever the currents we are taking a node here and here it is current i1 here it is current i2 and here it is current i3 and here it is i4 so incoming current i1 plus i2 that is equal to i3 plus i4 we can say that the incoming current equal to outgoing current or you can say that the algebraic sum of all the current meeting at a node is equals to zero that is your kcl okay so we are using kcl to form the equations to get the unknown voltage okay and if there are voltage source between two unknown voltages join the two nodes as a super node in some cases we are having a situation like that this is node 1 this is node 2 here it is let it be resistance let it be resistance here it is plus minus let it be voltage v so this type of system 
this type of network is under the super node condition. Okay. So, we cannot apply the KCL at these nodes because we do not know how much current is flowing in this particular branch because there is no resistance is there. We will discuss it later and then after getting the equations, we will solve the equation and get the value of node voltages and then after we can calculate the branch current also. Here, what is reference node? Here, we see a network that is a, that consists of current source I1 and I2 and various resistances here. Then, uh, here we are we are having this node that have a maximum number of branches connected. So, we can make it a reference node. Reference node means we have to make the voltage of this reference node equals to 0. By how? By, by grounding. By grounding, we can make the voltage that is 0. Okay? And after making this voltage 0 to this point, here we can see that the voltage of this point is also get 0 and the voltage of this point is also 0 because there is no resistance in between, there is no element in between, they are short circuited, they are short circuited means you can say that here the voltage is 0 and here it is voltage is equal to 0. So, that is why we uh, said that uh, we have to choose that reference node which having maximum number of branch connections. Okay? It makes easier calculations. So, this is your reference node. Also, we can uh, call it ground node. Ground means its voltage is 0. Okay? Now, we are having example with the same question. So, here we make the reference node our ground node. Then, then after we assign the variable to unknown voltages. So, here we are having node 1, node 2, node 3, node 1, node 2 and node 3. So, here it is voltage V1, voltage V2, voltage V3. These are the unknown voltages we have assigned. Generally, we are knowing that if we are having a resistance, let it be R and here it is voltage let V1 and here it is V2, V1 and V2. If we are having current like in this direction that is from 1 to node 2, then what is the value of I? We all know that current is flowing from <coughs> higher potential to lower potential means if we are assigned the direction of current from V1 to V2, it means that this is equal to V1 minus V2 upon R. V1 is higher voltage and V2 is lower voltage. So, this higher to lower is due to the direction of current. So, here we having if current here it is I1, we are taking let it be current uh, I x, okay. here it is I y. Okay. So, what is the KCL equation of this point? KCL equation at, at node 1, KCL equation at node 1, that is I 1 incoming current equal to outgoing current, I 1 equal to I x plus I y. And what is the value of I x? That is V 1 minus, what is the voltage of this point? That is 0. So, V 1 minus 0 divided by 500 plus what is the value of I y? V 1 minus V 2 divided by 500. This is your current I 1. So, by using the KCL, we can get the equation in terms of these voltages. So, we can here uh, calculate the value of V1, V2, V3 with these steps. Steps as we have discussed that is first we have to choose the 
reference ground that is your first step then assign the node voltage to the other nodes okay then apply kcl to each node other than reference we don't need to apply the kcl at reference nodes we don't need to and then solve the resulting system of linear equations for the nodal voltage now here it is the same thing will be discussed individually here voltage v1 v2 resistance 500 then what is the value of current that is direction this one v1 minus v2 this is current the value of current okay what is the value of current that is v1 minus v2 divided by 500 and here it is this is the voltage v1 and this is voltage equal to 0 the voltage of this ground node is equal to 0 it means the current is v1 minus 0 that comes v1 upon 500 that is understood v1 minus 0 upon 500 equals to v1 upon 500 now the kcl at node 1 that means i1 equals to this one v1 minus v2 node 2 hai okay and this one this is incoming current and these currents are outgoing leaving currents are there so incoming current equal to outgoing current and this equation forms okay here the KCL at node 2, at node 2, this is node 1, this is node 3, the voltage of this one is 0. So, if we are taking here, the current is V1 minus V2 upon 500. All the currents are leaving. Here we can also calculate according to the, this direction, according to this direction. according to this direction so the value of current that is flowing from v2 to v1 that is flowing from v2 to v1 means it is v2 minus v1 upon 500 here we can see see that at this node all the currents are lee it is just a sign convention you can have different directions as your wish so at this point that all the currents are leaving then we have taken the summation and equate it to 0. So, here it is V2 minus V1 divided by 500. Here it is V2 minus 0. You can write it V2 minus 0 upon 1 kilo ohm plus V2 minus V3. V2 minus V3 divided by 500 ohm that is equal to 0. So, this is the KCL equation at node 2. At node 3, the same thing is there. It is current I2 is there and it is incoming current and these two currents are outgoing currents. So, here outgoing summation of outgoing currents that is V3 minus V2 divided by 500 plus V3, here it is 0, V3 minus 0 divided by 500 equal to I2. We can get three equations with the help of KCL. Now, we are taking some examples. Here it is, the network given A and B, node 1, node 2. Here, to first we take this one. Okay. So, here it is at node 1. Here it is node 2. So, here current, the direction of current is from downward down to upward okay here it is i2 direction is given all the directions are mentioned so up, after applying kcl at node 1 so i1 equal to i2 plus small i1 plus small i2 so this is the incoming current these currents are outgoing okay and at node 2 i2 plus here it is capital I2 plus small i2 both are incoming current and I3 is outgoing current. So, this is KCL equation at node 
टू तो सिमिलर थिंग वी नो दैट आई इक्वल टू वी हायर माइनस वी लोअर डिवाइड बाई आर तो वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन दैट इज वी वन माइनस जीरो अपॉन आर वन आई टू वी वन माइनस वी टू अपॉन आर टू आई थ्री दैट इज वी टू माइनस जीरो अपॉन आर थ्री एंड देन आफ्टर वी हैव टू पुट दीज वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके तो आफ्टर गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन आई टू एंड आई थ्री वी हैव टू पुट बैक इन टू दिस इक्वेशन दिस एंड दिस तो आफ्टर पुटिंग द इक्वेशन वी विल गेट द फाइनल इक्वेशन दैट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ वी वन एंड वी टू एंड वी थ्री आई कैपिटल आई वन एंड कैपिटल आई टू दीज आर नोन करेंट सोर्सेज ओके तो वी कैन हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी कैन सी दैट हियर दिस इज अ डिपेंडेंट सोर्स डिपेंडेंट सोर्स तो देर इज नो अदर कन्वेंशन विद द डिपेंडेंट सोर्स वी गो सिमिलर एज वी गो इन केस ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज ओके तो वी आर हैविंग नोट्स हियर हियर दिस इज अ रेफरेंस नोड एंड वी कैन टेक वी कैन अप्लाई द नोड एट के सी एल के सी एल एट नोड वन वट इज द इक्वेशन दिस इज योर इन कमिंग करेंट दीज करेंट्स आर लेट इट बी वोल्टेज वी वन वी टू वी थ्री ओके तो हियर इट इज थ्री इन कमिंग इक्वल टू वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एक्स दैट इज वी वन माइनस वी टू वी वन माइनस वी टू डिवाइड बाई टू प्लस दिस वन इन केस ऑफ दिस वन वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ करेंट वी वन माइनस वी थ्री वी वन माइनस वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई फोर दैट इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके देन वट इज द इक्वेशन के सी एल इक्वेशन एट नोट टू नोट टू हियर इट इज लेट इट बी करेंट आई एक्स आई वाई आई जेड तो आई एक्स इक्वल टू आई वाई प्लस आई जेड आई एक्स इक्वल टू आई एक्स इक्वल टू आई वाई प्लस आई जेड दैट मीन्स आई एक्स वट इज वैल्यू ऑफ आई एक्स दैट इज वी वन माइनस वी टू वी टू डिवाइड बाई टू दैट इज इक्वल टू आई वाई आई वाई दैट इज v2 टू माइनस जीरो वी टू माइनस जीरो डिवाइड बाई फोर प्लस वी टू माइनस वी थ्री माइनस वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई एट दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ वी कैन अप्लाई द के सी एल एट नोट थ्री इट इज के सी एल एट नोड थ्री here the same current let it be i a i a is incoming current at this point and here it is i z here it is 2 i x 2 i x what is the value of i x that is before v1 minus v2 upon 2 so i x this one is i x okay so here it is at this point i a incoming current आई ए एंड इनकमिंग करेंट वन ऑल्सो अनदर इज देयर दैट इज आई जेड आई जेड दैट इज वी टू माइनस वी थ्री वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई एट एंड आउट गोइंग दैट इज टू आई एक्स एंड वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए आई ए दैट इज वी वन माइनस वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई फोर दैट इज वी वन माइनस वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई फोर प्लस वी टू माइनस वी थ्री डिवाइड बाई एट Equals to two. What is the value of I x? That is, v one minus v two divided by two. Equation number three. So here we have derived three equations, and we are having three unknowns. That is, v one, v two, and v three. After solving the equations, we can get the value of v one, v two, and v three. And after getting the value of v one, v two, and v three, we can get the value of I x. आई एक्स आर एनी ब्रांच करेंट ओके द सिमिलर थिंग इज देयर दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एट नोट टू दिस वन नोट थ्री 
this one and this is your <coughs> in the form of matrix the equations in the form of matrix after solving the matrix you can get the value of v1 v2 and v3 and after getting this value we can get i1 i2 and so on all the branch currents are calculated okay now we are going to discuss the super node case means nodal analysis with voltage source so generally uh, we have some uh, how discussed about that if we are having a node and uh, between two nodes there is a voltage source then how we can apply the kcl because we all know that kcl can be applied one year resistance or inductance or capacitance in between are connected means there it is resistance we are having voltage v1 v2 then we can get the value of current that is v1 minus v2 divided by r now we have to deal with the this situation this is a voltage source this is volt v1 and v2 so this is a case of super node this is case of super node so the voltage source is connected between a non reference node and the reference node the non reference node voltage is equal to the magnitude of voltage source and the number of unknown non reference node is reduced by 1 case 2 that is voltage voltage source is connected between two non reference nodes a generalized node the super node is formed so we are having second point the super node it is formed by enclosing a dependent or independent it doesn't matter ki we are having independent source or dependent source voltage source that is they are they must be connected between two non reference nodes and any elements connected in parallel with it here we are having example this one this is the case of super node this node 1 node 2 node 3 node 1 node 2 node 3 so here we are having three nodes okay now we we see here there is a 5 volt voltage source that is connected between node 2 and node 3 so first we start with this node 1 so here it is let the current is here it is i1 i2 and i3 i4 okay what is the let the direction of this current is this one but here it is also that uh, the voltage 10 is connected between the ground and this node 1 so we can have the kbl actually we apply kbl at this situation in the case of super node then we have to apply kbl kirchhoff voltage law so first we apply the kbl so what is the kbl equation between this to this one that is v2 what is the direction it is going to be reduced plus to minus means we are having drop so means v2 minus 5 minus v3 equals to 0 so we can get one equation that equation number 1 is that clear and here you can see that if we apply the kbl equation to this branch we can see that the value of b1 equal to 10 because the 10 volt is connected and here it is the ground voltage that is zero it means v1 the value of v1 equal to 10 volt or we can have the kbl equation that is v1 minus 10 minus 0 equal to 0 v1 equal to 10 volt okay so we are getting the value of v1 equal to 10 volt okay now the kcl equations we can apply the kcl equations in this form means here it is the value of i1 what is the value of i1 i1 that is v1 minus v2 and v1 it is 10 10 minus v2 divided by 2 that is the value of i1 what is the value of i2 
that is v2 minus 0 divided by 8 okay and what is the value of i4 i4 that is v1 means 10 minus v3 divided by 4 that is i4 i3 you can calculate it i3 that is v3 minus 0 divided by 6 okay so we have calculated all the branch currents now we can apply the kcl equations okay so here it is the incoming current is i1 outgoing current is i2 and whatever the current flowing in this branch it is automatically go through this branch so total incoming current equal to outgoing current means here it is current i4 let this current is i a i4 plus i a equal to i3 let the equation is 2 i4 plus i a that is equal to i3 okay and here it is i1 i1 equals to i2 plus i a so we can replace the value of i a in terms of i1 and i2 here i a equals to i1 minus i2 so it is put back into equation number 2 and it becomes i4 plus i1 minus i2 equal to i3 this is the equation now we can put the value of i1 i2 i3 i4 and we will get one equation you can have like uh, means what are the equations i4 plus i1 minus i2 i4 plus i1 minus i2 equal to i3 or you can write i4 plus i1 equal to i2 plus i3 so what is the value of i4 we have calculated uh, 10 minus v3 upon 4 10 minus v3 upon 4 plus i1 i1 that is v1 minus v2 upon 2 v1 minus v2 upon 2 and i2 i2 that is v2 minus 0 upon 8 v2 minus 0 upon 8 okay plus i3 i3 that is v3 minus 0 upon 6 v3 v3 minus 0 upon 6 v3 minus 0 upon 6 so this is the equation you can take it third so we are having 3 1 it is clear v1 the value of v1 that is 10 volt and then we are having two equation equation number third and second by using by using second and third we will get get the value of v2 and v3 and we already known the value of v1 is 10 volt so this can be done with the help of nodal analysis okay so this is the case of super node we don't need to apply the kcl like we apply in other cases here similar we can apply the kvl okay we can also discuss one more example with this here this one this is another example okay this one okay so here we can also discuss the same thing that I have discussed we can apply the kcl equations here okay 
तो यू आल कैन गेट द इक्वेशंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ के सी एल ओके जय हिंद